everybody. All right, it's been a while. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or all that, I did a post talking about jigs and file guides. And the new thing is cork belts. I see, man, every once in a while I'll go in these groups that I used to be on and to look for the new lazy way to make knives. Jigs are the first one. Everyone loves to set up a jig and just grind and think they have good looking knives. Now, if you've done production and you got like 20 knives, jigs are great. If you're just starting out, they're the worst thing next to file guides and belts that finish your grinds without you knowing how to grind. You can't polish shit. And that's what people are trying to do. They do shitty ass grinds and then they try to polish them. And that's what cork belts are for. You put compound on them and they make your grinds look really tight. But uh, not if your grinds don't look good in the first place. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a... I don't know where I put it. I'm going to take this knife. My friend Ross, who I've been doing tattoos on his girlfriend and him, he's been wanting to learn knife making. So I cut out some blanks. I'm going to show you guys how to do bevels. Now... This is just my philosophy on bevels. It doesn't matter if you're hollow grinding, compound grinding. If you want to make a knife that looks like this, you know, a jig is not going to help you when you want to make a knife look like this. A jig just can't stand up to it. If you want to make knives that look like this, it's not going to happen on a jig. And if you can get it to work on a jig, by the time you figure that out, you might as well learn this way, because this is the way to do it. I keep looking up. I, I got my camera with the monitor on, so I keep looking at the monitor. All these grinds, it's the same philosophy, and I'm about to show you how to do it. It doesn't matter if you're on a wheel, a flat plate, or not. This technique is what I use, and I've, I've figured it out. I'm going to make it simple for you guys. Let's get to the grinder. All right, so I just broke the 90s. I'll put a playlist like Stack Removal 101 up in the cards. Basically, you just put an old belt. You know, look at this old worn belt. I've used it for handles and everything. You just put it on there because you don't want to break your 90s with a new belt because then you'll just get a face full of grit and waste a belt. So, I use old calipers. I was going to just say go check out that video or that playlist, but this is real quick. Here's where I want my bevels. You know, I always do them shorter when preheat treat and I keep them in front of my notch, my grinding notch. So, and if you don't have a notch and you want to come back to here, stop here. Because after heat treat, then you can bring it all in. And that gives you plenty of room to, you know, adjust your grinds and all that. But see, these don't even have a battery nothing, just for marking. Boom. There's our grind line. And I'm doing it over here. For a purpose and you'll see that purpose my center line like I said I already did and all that so check this out here is where we want our bevels to be on this side you're not gonna put your thumb or this thumb beyond that line ever now if you want to make your bevels a little bit higher then you make them higher on both sides and then you move your thumbs to that line do not go over that line that's very important. Now you're going to grind in, you're going to hit that 90 and you're going to slowly, you can move your thumbs up. Like when you come in, you're going to move your thumbs up and you're going to pull it in and see this thumb right here, it's above that line. So I'm going to be pushing like this, you know, you can pull out, you can pull down, however you want to bring this thing. I always pull out, but don't come past this line with either thumb. And if you pull back, you're going to go full flat. Do not go full flat. If you want to grind and have facets in your bevel, and you got to learn. Like I had a guy hit me up after that post I put on Instagram, and he's like, oh, I only use the jig to get comfortable with the grinder. That's crap. Don't do that. Find any steel, any scrap. Make a knife. Make any shape that looks like a knife and get used to your grinder like this. Don't use jigs. Once you're happy with how you grind your bevels, then use jigs. Use file guides, whatever you want. But I guarantee if you know how to grind the bevel, 
most likely, unless you got 10 or 15 knives to do, you don't ever want to waste time with a jig. Because, man, it looks so much better when you do bevels by hand. So, yeah, my line's right there. My thumbs aren't going past it. Now, we're just going to start slowly bringing it in. And, man, you're just going to do it slow. Pull it. One pass. Bam. One pass. Bam. You can go back and forth. But until you... I don't think I even go back and forth. I might catch myself doing it once in a while to hit a spot, but one pull, pick it up, one pull, pick it up, one pull, slow, go in, look at it, see where it is. You know, once you grind these lines in and you flip it like that, whatever these grind lines show you is going to come out here. This is straight up and down. If you want your grind lines looking like that and you grind it in, here, when you flip it over, these grind lines are going to be straight up and down. And that's how you know both sides are even. It doesn't matter if it's bevels, handles, doesn't matter. If you want to do an Enzo pattern on a wheel, you know, you look at this, it's straight up and down. This is going to be straight up and down. Look, boom, straight up and down. I know this is straight up and down. It doesn't matter what you're grinding. Look at this side to get this side. This will always be straight up and down. Man, I can't emphasize these things enough. People always say, I want to learn to grind. This is how you learn how to grind. Practice, practice, practice. But these fundamentals will get you there. Like I say, one pull, and then, you know, you don't want your thumbs up, and then slowly bring them down, bring them down. Do not pass that line. And just keep going and just get the facets out. And if you want to swoop it, you hang your belt over. You know, if you hang it over like a quarter inch, it'll swoop up. But like I say, stay in front of your notch or where you want to stop. All right, correction, I do go back and forth. But this is the thumb pressure. As you look at it, see up here, I had my thumb here and I was pulling down. So what I gotta do is slowly pull this thumb, put more pressure down. Do not cross that line. Just put this thumb and slowly bring it like that. Don't pull back, just slowly put the pressure here, like that. See, that's all it takes. Do not cross that line. So I sit here, cause I got this up. So now I want to work right here. A trick I learned, put your fingers here, lift this off. So you're not grinding here. Pull this up. You know, put this finger here or this finger and pull this up and just smooth this in. And then once you get this up, then pull it all the way across. Yeah. Lift up, pull in, pull in till you're up here. Boom, pull all the way across. I'm repeating myself, but damn it, I want to get it in y'all's head. <laughs> Stop doing crappy jig work. I hit my line right there. Look, I hit it. I'm right on the line. It may I almost went a little bit over. One tip, make sure your thing's flat. <laughs> I got the grind, you can see it swoops up there because look how bad this was not flat. I got so worried about the bevels. So I messed up. I'll come clean, I messed up. But look how bad this is uh warped. So I'm going to clean this other side and then I'll show you what I mean. Man, look at how bad that was warped. Look at that swoop. <laughs> Me and my ego just got crushed. But the idea is the same.
let me remark this. I'm just going to go for it. And hopefully not mess up like that. I mean, I was a little over the line here. Everything else was perfect. I went over just a little bit there. But, all right, let me remark this. While I'm here, I might as well break the 90s. We're coming right down to my line. Same rules, except we're hanging the belt over this way. Here's what I was talking about. Here's my grind lines. Just like that. So I'm gonna follow this side, straight, and boom, they'll be the exact same on that side. And hopefully I don't mess this one up. <laughs> Last little trick, then I'm done. <laughs> this side, woo, that was a nice catch. This side, see how it swooped in? So I know this side cuts good. This side is cutting not good. So I'm gonna flip the belt over and use the side I know is cutting good. And then, just grinding. See, I was almost to it. Here I am telling you to Mark lines and follow these lines to get that side, and I don't even have lines on this side. But see, I was close. So I just actually, now that it's straight, I can pull this up over here and pull that up there. Here, we got these dry lines straight up and down. So let's cut that in, and uh, we should be done. Now, see, here's a facet right there. So I'm about to bring that up. I'm gonna push my thumb up to bring that facet out. But we only want to come down to our line. Boom, see, we got that swooping because I flipped the belt. So let me flip it back up. Got all those facets out. Little redemption. <laughs> Make sure you shit straight. <laughs> Boom. All right. Swoops, hits the line right there, and then comes down from the line. Swoops, hits the line, then comes down from the line. They're not completely on the line, but you know what? They're both exactly the same. Boom. Consistent. Then once you get it in, you just got 120. And however, you know, I usually go 50, 120, heat treat. Maybe I'll hit it with a Trizac, but that's it. Now this is ready to heat treat. Well, after you drill the holes and all that, but that's it. Boom. See, I messed up on purpose. I wanted to show you guys how to fix it. <laughs> Don't make mistakes. <laughs> I did all that on purpose. All right, that's it for me. I hope you guys learned something and uh, check out my tattoo stuff. I'll put the cards up. I've been tattooing, that's why I haven't been knife making. Well, I gave up YouTube because uh, it wasn't worth it. No one watches these things anymore, so, uh, you know, everyone wants to be a jig and Damascus maker and all that stuff, and no one wants to learn the art of how to make a good grind. So, maybe I'll see y'all in a while. Take it easy.